in four days' time, this beautiful parish of St. Jude the Apostle in Lewis, Delaware, will celebrate its patronal feast day. October 28th is the feast of St. Simon and Jude, Apostles. These two apostles always share the same feast day. And because our church, our parish, is named after St. Jude, we find ourselves under his loving patronage. And so we celebrate with great joy that patronal feast day, which for us becomes a solemnity, like a Sunday, like Easter, like Christmas. The celebration is on that scale. Every parish, whenever it's patronal feast day falls, that day when Mass is celebrated, two readings are said, generally, always the Gloria and always the Creed, just like we have on Sundays. It becomes a high solemnity. So in other parishes that are not named after St. Jude, it will be an obligatory memorial, an obligatory feast day, but it will not have the same elevation of solemnity. You can see behind me that we are already preparing for that great solemnity. You see behind me, in between, or I should say astride, the crucifix. You see four candles. These candles are on our high altar, and we will light them beginning tomorrow and for the next four days, culminating on Wednesday, October 28th. We'll be continuing, too, with a new devotion in preparation for this beautiful feast day of our patron, 40 hours of Eucharistic Adoration. And though we do have a Eucharistic Adoration Chapel here on campus, we're going to move the adoration to the main church itself on Sunday, after the last Mass, and until 6.30 p.m., and then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, after the 8 a.m. daily Mass, and until 7.30 p.m. We are doing exactly what St. Jude himself did here in this life, his life as an apostle. He who was present at the Last Supper grew in immense adoration and love of our Eucharistic Lord, so much so that he went far and wide, far and wide, to share that good news, so much so that he, a priest, ordained by Jesus Christ himself, would often, daily, take bread and wine, and with the consecratory prayers, and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, have them become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. He loved our Eucharistic Lord so very much to give his own life for him. This is why, my dear friends of Christ, the parish of St. Jude the Apostle is going to celebrate with exultation and great rejoicing his paternal feast day. We want to make sure that, that we do, because we want to be a lot like St. Jude. What was he like? Well, for starters, he always made space for grace.